Hello there guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial based in Illustrator with myself Jack. I'm one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics and it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you here today. The reason why we are here today guys is to discuss a very, very cool typography technique. Okay, what I'm going to show you today is a um, very simple idea that you can apply to typography. Um, and hopefully I get the creative juices flowing where you go and uh, create your own ideas. Okay. So as you can see, right, I've got this example in front of me here. And what I'm going to do now is show you how I built this particular example. So what I'm going to do is select our friend here. Let's minimize this a little bit so that we can just put it over here and come back and have a look. So what I'm going to do is get my typography tool. Okay. And I'm going to write the word blue for the minute just to get us started. Okay. As you can see, I'm using a uh, font called Cinderella Regular Use Font. Um, very popular, uh, very trendy. I found it on Dafont. It is a free download. So go and have a look. Now, what I have here is my first word. OK, now what I would need to do to get this effect is to be able to remove the fill color. OK, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove the fill color. The word still exists. There's just no fill in there at the moment. So if I go to a window, what I'm going to do now is open up our appearance panel. Now, what your appearance panel acts like is you can have, uh, affect fills, strokes, effects, all through your appearance panel. Now, if we come here to this little icon, what I can do now is add a brand new fill. And there it is. I'm going to choose a sort of a similar swatch to what we had earlier. Fantastic. And there is the first fill. Now, as you can see, we have different layers going um, underneath. So that's what we need to create now. So with my fill options uh, highlighted here, what I'm going to do is come to this little icon here and I'm going to duplicate it. All right, so I've duplicated the uh, the fill there. So what I'm going to do now is let me just change the color. But because obviously they're sitting on top of each other, you won't be able to see that particular color. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go to Effects, Distort and Transform, and Transform. I am going to change the move horizontal and vertical to one pixel. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the copies by 10. Let's do, yeah, let's do five. Let's do five. Okay. And there you have it. There's your first layer. So it's very, very simple from this point. Now what I'm going to do is simply just duplicate this. There it is. Let's change the color. Now, because I've duplicated the one that we apply the transform to, as you can see, I've got the transform here that we duplicated. If I click that, all I'm going to do now is increase the copies by an extra five. So now I'm going to go to 10. Okay, let's do it again. Select your fill, highlight, duplicate. Let's go to the duplicate. Let's change the color. Wonderful. Let's go to the transform option here. And let's increase the copies to 15. Okay, so let's do it one more time. I'm going to select the fill, duplicate the item again, scroll to the bottom there. Nice. Let's change the color. Perfect. And let's increase the copies to 20. Okay. And there you have it, guys. That is how you create that particular style. Another benefit now, if you if you want to be interested, is if you used to get the typography tool, you will now be able to continue to type within that particular style. Like so. Okay, guys, and this is just a very basic technique with typography. Obviously, the world is your oyster with the type of effects that you can apply within Illustrator. 
Okay, guys, thank you very much for taking the time today. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, the courses that we offer, please, please, please visit our website at uh, blueskygraphics.co.uk. You could also view some of our amazing um, students' work um, on our Instagram at blueskygraphicsuk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.